गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द चैप्टर चिल्ड्रेन स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द क्यूब एंड क्यूब रूट व्हिच इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट इन द प्रीवियस सेशंस यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट टू फाइंड आउट द स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट by prime factorization method and long division method here we will learn today to find the cube and cube root the cube of a number is the number raised to the power 3 that means any number raised to the power 3 is called the cube so cube of 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 gives 8 so this is known as the cube cube of 6 that means 6 raised to the power 3 so any number raised to the power 3 is called the cube So six multiplied by six multiplied by six gives two hundred and sixteen. Perfect cube. We know that two raised to power three is equal to eight. Here you have seen two raised to power three is equal to eight. So eight is the perfect cube of two. In the same way, six raised to power three, as you have seen here. If you will multiply six three times, we get two hundred and sixteen. So two hundred and sixteen is the perfect cube of six. So we can say the number eight, two hundred and sixteen, are called the perfect cubes. So here are some properties, children, of cubes of a number. Cubes of odd odd natural numbers are odd. see children if the numbers are odd natural numbers then their cubes will also be odd numbers for example 3 raised to power 3 3 is an odd number so 3 raised to power 3 gives us 27 so 27 is also a odd natural number in the same way see children the second property is that cubes of all even natural numbers are even cubes of all odd numbers are odd and cubes of all even numbers are even see here 2 raised to power 3 gives us 8 here 2 is a even number and its cube is also a even number next property the cubes of natural number which is a multiple of 3 is a multiple of 27 also so the cube of natural number which is multiple of 3 is also a multiple of 27 for example 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 gives us 729 which is cube of 9 in the same way 4 upon 5 multiplied by 4 upon 5 multiplied by 4 upon 5 that means 4 upon 5 raised to the power 3 gives us 64 upon 125 now this is all about the cubes now the cube root cube of 3 cube of 3 means 3 raised to power 3 is 27 as you all know and the cube root of 27 is 3 cube of 3 is 27 and the cube root of 27 is 3 in the same way children the cube of 2 that means 2 raised to power 3 gives us 8 and the cube root of 8 is 2 cube of 4 that means 4 raised to power 3 gives us 64 and the cube root of 64 is 4 cube root of a number is indicated by symbol cube root see this is the symbol of cube root we have written here this index that is 
Thus, cube root of 8 is 2 in the same way cube root of 4 is 4. In the same way, cube root of 125 is equal to 5. Now, very important thing is that children, cube root of negative number is always negative. If the number is negative and we are finding its cube root, that will always be negative. Example, you can see here minus 1 raised to power 3. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 that gives us minus 1. Minus 2 raised to power 3 and minus 2 if we will find out its cube root. This is cube root children, this one. Here, this is cube root. It gives us minus 1 and for this number, this cube root, it gives us minus, this is not cube root, sorry. This is cubes. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 gives us minus 1. In the same way, minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2, its cube is minus 8. And we will, if we will find the cube root of this minus 8, it will be minus 2. Square root of negative numbers does not exist. Cube roots of negative number is always a negative, but the square root of negative numbers does not exist. Now, finding the cube root by prime factorization method. As we have uh, in the previous video sessions, we have learned how to find out the square root by prime factorization method. And here we will find out the cube root by prime factorization method. For example, find the cube root of 512. Now, I have written the solution steps for you children. Now, first step is that find the prime factors. So, I have done this 512. We have taken out the prime factors of 512. Now, in the second step, separate into groups of three similar factors each. Now, we have to separate them into, three, into groups of three similar factors each. So, here you can see all the factors are similar. Now, we will, what we will do, we will make groups of three similar factors each. See here. These are all the com factors of 512. So, we have made the groups here. You can see here. Then, that means 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 3. Now, pick up one factor from each group and multiply. This is one factor of similar factors. Now, from here, from one group, this is one group, we will take one factor from this group, that is, this is 2. From this group, we will take one factor here, 2. And from this group also, we will take one factor, that is 2. And then we will multiply them and that will be the cube root of that number. So, the cube root of 512 is equal to 8. Now, as I told you children, that the cube root of a negative number is always a negative. So, here we will find the cube root of a negative number that is 74,088. This is a negative number. So, for this what we have to do? We have to uh, find out the cube root of negative number is negative. So, first find the cube root of positive number and then put negative sign before it. So, we have this number minus 74,088. This is a negative number. So, when we will find out the cube root, we will find the cube root of positive 74,088. After finding the cube root, we will put the negative sign before it. So, the factors of 74,088 is this. Now, what we will do? We will make the uh, we will separate into groups of three similar factors each. So, here I have separated them into groups of similar factors. This is a group of 2, this is a group of 3 and this is a group of say. That means 2 raised to power 3, here 3 raised to power, 2 raised to power 3, 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री रेज टू पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवन रेज टू पावर थ्री नाउ फ्रॉम ईच ग्रुप वी विल टेक वन फैक्टर फ्रॉम हेयर वी ग्रुप वी हैव टेकन टू फ्रॉम दिस ग्रुप वी हैव टेकन थ्री एंड फ्रॉम दिस ग्रुप वी हैव टेकन सेवन एंड देन वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड दिस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री इंटू सेवन गिव्स फोर्टी टू सो द क्यूब रूट ऑफ माइनस सेवेंटी फोर थाउजेंड एटी एट इज माइनस In this way, we will find out the cube root of seven. Uh, this number. I hope, children, you have understood how to find out the cubes and cube root now. Now there are some properties of cube roots. First property is that if x and y are any two whole numbers, then cube root of x dot dot means multiply or the product of x and y is equal to cube root of x multiplied by cube root of y that is cube root uh, is the product of two whole numbers is equal to the cube root of the first number and the cube root of the second number now cube root of a fraction if x and y are any two whole numbers that is integers then y is not equal to 0 then cube root of x and y here that is equal to cube root of x upon cube root of y we may also write the product of prime factors in exponential form and then find the cube root we divide each index power by 3 and then multiply the new factor so first i will explain you how we have done that children see here this is cube root of minus 8 multiplied by 729 that is equal to q and cube root of minus 8 multiplied by cube root of My, uh, this is seven twenty nine. So we have taken the cube root of eight here. That is minus two into minus two into minus two multiplied by the cube root of seven twenty nine. That is nine into nine into nine. So from this group we have taken minus two. From here we have taken nine. That is is equal to minus eighteen. Or we may write like this also minus two raised to power three. Multiplied nine raised to power three is equal to minus nineteen. As we have written here, we divide each index power by three. So here the index power we will divide by three. So it will become minus two multiplied by here the index power is three. We will divide this index power by three. So it will become nine. And here the answer is minus eighteen. So this is the cube root of minus eight into seven twenty nine. Here also in the same way, one more example I have taken minus two hundred and sixteen upon three hundred and forty three. So we have to find out the cube root. So I have put this symbol here, and see here we have taken out the factors of two hundred and sixteen. That is minus six into minus six into minus six. And three hundred and forty-three is seven into seven into seven. Now we will write this in the exponential form. That is minus six raised to power three upon seven. That means either we can write minus six raised to power three and seven raised to power three. And here I have written in bracket that is minus six upon seven raised to power three. So we will divide this by This index power by three. When we divide this index power by three, we get one. That is minus six upon seven. This is the square root of minus two hundred and sixteen upon three forty three. In the same way, I have taken one more example of decimal children. How you will take out the or you will find out the cube root of zero point zero six four. So first thing is that. in the decimal number we have to remove the decimal so here children i have removed the decimal that is 64 upon 1000 we have to find out the cube root of this number so first we will take the factors of 
and factors of 1000. So here I have taken the factor of 64, 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 and here of 1000 is 10 into 10 into 10. And now we will write in the exponential form that is 4 raised to power 3 and 10 raised to power 3. Now we will divide the each index power by 3 and we get here 4 upon 10. Now we will again convert this fraction into decimal that is 0 0.4. So the cube root of 0 0.064 is 0 0.4. In this way children we will find out the cube root. So to find out the cube root of a, any decimal num number we have to first remove the decimal and then we will find the cube root. So here are some children numericals. Find the smallest number by which 243 should be multiplied to make the product a perfect cube. In the previous ses uh, uh, session also children we have found uh, we have find the smallest number But there we have find the perfect square and in this question we will find the perfect cube. Also find the cube root of the product. First we have to find out children with which number this should be multiplied to make the product a perfect square. So for that children first of all we have to take the factors of 243. So I, here I have taken the factors of 243. It is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now for that now we will form the triplets. We will make the triplets. So here one group of the triplet is formed. But this group is incomplete. One is missing. So children what we have to do forming triplets we see to complete the triplets we have to multiply by 3. See this triplet is complete but here only 2 numbers are there. To complete this triplet we have to multiply it by 3. So what we will do children to find out the perfect cube we will multiply 243 by 3 to make it a perfect cube. So the perfect cube when we will multiply see here to make a triplet we have to multiply by 3. So with that 3 we will multiply 243 to make it a perfect cube that is 729. So see, now we will take out the cube root of 729. See I have taken the factors and here we have formed the triplets and from each group we will take one factor and then we will multiply and here the cube root of 729 is 9. One more example is here children. Find the smallest number by which 8640 should be divided. Here we have multiplied in this question we have to divide. Should be divided to make the quotient a perfect cube. Also find the cube root of the quotient. Now the number is 8640. So first we will take the prime factors of 8640 and see here I have taken children the prime factors of 8640. Now what we will do we will make the triplets here of the like factors but here we can see here one triplet is here this is one triplet this is one triplet but this number do not have. So here 5 is extra factor. See all these groups are having triplets but this is extra. So children here 5 is extra factor. So we divide 8640 by 5. 8640 8, will be multiplied by 5. When we will multiply it by 5 we get this 1720. Eight. So, 1728 is the perfect cube of 8640. Now, 
we will take the prime factors of 1728 to find its cube root again here we will take the factors then 2 raised to power 6 multiplied by 3 raised to power 3 here the index will be divided by 3 so if you will divide this 6 by 3 we get 2 so 2 raised to power 2 multiply here we divide the index by 3 we get 1 so 3 so 2 into 2 into 3 is equal to 12 so 12 is the cube root of 1728 so i hope children you all have understood watch the videos carefully and you will get the assignment for assignment for this part children do all the assignments in your copies thank you